to all of our witnesses for coming here. Mr. Belsilli, I'd like to start with you. You talked a lot about in your comments and in your responses to questions about uh, personal privacy, surveillance, and protecting prosperity. When you, when you were the co-CEO of BlackBerry, you demonstrated that. I don't think there's anybody in this room that has been the custodian of more personal private data than you have been. So you're going to be speaking from a position of authority, experience, and knowledge. And you prioritized individual security and privacy for people. And that's why 10 years ago when I became an MP, BlackBerry was the only option we had as telephones and uh, because of the security aspect of it. During COVID, this government, together with their coalition NDP partners, through the Public Health Agency of Canada, colluded with TELUS to trample on, on Canadians' individual privacy by tracking them. Is that the kind of thing that you're concerned with with this legislation? It doesn't protect Canadians from that kind of behavior. They did it without a judicial authorization. I think, uh, if I may, I'm going to answer this a little indirectly in that um, uh, I, I dialogue a lot at the subnational with the premiers who are grappling with issues of data and identity systems and, and so on and so forth. And people like to talk about the efficiency. And, and I, I explain to them that you must first invest in trust and governance. Somebody can't build a 20-story skyscraper in your backyard without talking to you. You are all politicians who go through policy discourse. And yet when it comes to these digital realms, there's, there's a tendency to bypass the trust and governance phase, and yet the power and impact is profound. And so the most important thing is the elements of dialogue, the elements of transparency, the elements of governance, so that people know that they can trust what you're doing and that there's going to be democratic recourse if you, if you slip over the line. That's okay. But if you come top down or you do it with absent transparency or with sneaky carve-outs, it collapses trust and that shuts down a lot of things, independent of the harms that these things do. You lose the social license to move ahead in, a, in, a, in an era where we need social license because we can't ignore the potential of these digital technologies to help us in a pandemic. But there's a proper way to do these things and there's an undermining way to do these things. 